Welcome to Basic Medical Sciences. If you are a retaining subscriber, please thank you so much for supporting my channel. If this is your first time, please make sure you subscribe so that whenever I upload a new video, you will receive a notification. Uh, and also, that's the only payment you will ever have to pay. Just subscribing, sharing, and leaving comments in the comment section. Right, so let's continue with our uh, gram-negative enterics. Right, so uh, the first video, if you click the link on the top right corner, we covered uh, E. coli. Right, so in this video, we are talking about Klebsiella pneumonia, and we are basically focusing on high yield points. Right, so one slide will be enough, and I'm going to tell you everything that you see in the exam. Uh, concerning Klebsiella pneumonia, right? Klebsiella pneumonia is a gram-negative intestinal flora that causes pneumonia, right? So, uh, the key point is a normal flora, part of normal flora, right? Uh, this enteric is encapsulated, so it is a capsule, that's all antigen, but it's non-motile. It is no H antigen. It's non motor. It doesn't have a flagella. Klebsiella pneumonia uh, sprawls hospitals causing sepsis. Right? Uh, so this is the second most common after E. coli. So number one cause of gram negative uh, sepsis is E. coli. Number two is Klebsiella. Right? They are following each other. Uh, remember, I, I told you like how to classify uh, uh, enterics, right? So the first point was about uh, lactose fermentation. And I told you that uh, E. coli, it ferments lactose and it does that very fast. And guess what? Klebsiella, same thing. It also ferments lactose at a faster rate, right? So... Uh, back to our slide here, I said Klebsiella pneumonia is the second most common cause of gram-negative sepsis after E. coli, right? It also causes urinary tract infections in hospitalized patients with Foley catheters. Hospitalized patients and alcoholics right these two hospitalized patients and alcoholics right debilitated patients are prone to klebsiella pneumonia pneumonia which is characterized by a blood sputum in about 50 percent of the cases right uh, and i also want to tell you that uh diabetics alcoholics and diabetics right is specific to klebsiella this pneumonia is violent and frequently destroys lung tissue, producing cavities, right? It also enters the, even the lung sometimes, causing these abscesses, right? Uh, thick sputum coughed up with Klebsiella pneumonia classically looks like a red currant jelly. Red currant jelly is a buzzer word, right? So in most exams... They tell you about the color of sputum, curan red jelly, um, which is the color of the all antigen capsule, right? Okay, so I just want to show you how it looks like in a uh, plate. So you can see it's, um, it's mucoid, right? It's mucoid because of the polysaccharide capsule, right? So this is what Klebsiella looks like. Right, okay, so this is the same slide again. So these are the most important points, two, four, six points, which you ever need to know about Klebsiella, right? Uh, okay, let's look at the overview. Klebsiella pneumonia is a gram-negative rod, uh, an intestinal flora that causes low pneumonia in patients with alcohol overuse and patients with diabetes when aspirated. So it's an aspiration pneumonia. Uh, it causes uh, very mucoid colonies caused by abundant polysaccharide capsule. Right, so I just showed you a slide of uh, these mucoid colonies. 
uh, it produces dark red curan jelly sputum, which is sometimes bloody or just mucus. It also causes nosocomial or hospital acquired urinary tract infections. Klebsiella pneumonia is associated with evolution of multi drug resistance, right? So it, it, it usually resists a lot of antibiotics. So, like, our mortality is very high, right? Okay, before that, uh, I just want to tell you, like, the most commonly used uh, drugs, right? So, the most commonly used third generation cephalosporins and uh, ciprofloxacin, right? So, mortality rate is high despite antibiotic therapy. Why? Because of this MDR, right? Amount drug resistance. Right, so if you look here, there is uh, a mnemonic uh, to remember most of the characteristics of uh, Klebsiella, right? So it's called A, B, C, D, E's of Klebsiella. A, B, C, D, E's of Klebsiella, right? So aspiration pneumonia, abscess in lungs and liver, cure and jelly sputum, diabetes mellitus, um ito ito is just for ethanol right so it's um alcohol right alcohol overuse okay a b c d is of klebsiella right so that's everything you need to know about klebsiella pneumonia thank you so much for sticking around uh please make sure you subscribe and if you get the opportunity to donate i will highly appreciate every dollar counts Check in the comment section. You will see a link to PayPal. Uh, even if you... Uh, they, they, there is uh, an option to pay at least a dollar per month. It's, it's, it's cool, guys. Uh, it will also give me a need to continue making uh, these videos. But if you can, still, it's fine. You can just share the video with others and that will be cool. Until next time.